hybrids aren't just great long iron replacements. They're really good all around the golf course. I'm gonna show you five ways you can use your hybrid to help lower your score. Hi guys, I'm Rick Shields, PGA Golf Professional. I'm gonna take you out on the golf course to show you five ways you can use your hybrid. We're gonna start off with number one, a little bump and run from just off the green. So one way of using your hybrid out on the golf course is almost using it like a little chipper. I'm just off the side of the green here. I've got a little bit of fringe to get over. But this is a perfect club because it's, it's almost like a putter with loft. The limitation is the shaft is too long. It's hard to control, but you can do something about that. Gripping it right down to the grip, almost towards the shaft, it's going to give you the level of control you need. And play a shot like a putter. You know, not too much wrist hinge or wrist break. I'm not trying to get the ball up in the air. I'm effectively going to put my putting stroke on it. Remember the club's got a bit of power to it, so a very small swing, a smell, very small effort, will just pop the ball over the fringe, using my putting stroke, and then rolling that ball close to the flag. And what I love about that is, I didn't particularly hit that brilliant, yet yeah, it's right next to the flag. The benefit of a hybrid, it's got that nice flat bottom, it doesn't get dug into the ground, and off any type of lie around the green, it's perfect for that little bump and run. Hybrid is definitely used for that shot. So when hybrids first ever came out, they're actually called rescue clubs for a reason, because they are great at rescuing you out of tricky situations. I'm in the trees, I need to knock it back out into the fairway. A hybrid is great for this because, again, the, the, the swing doesn't need to be long to create enough power to keep the ball low under the trees and get it back onto the fairway. The other big benefit is with the flatter bottom of the golf club, the club doesn't get dug into the ground as much. Whenever you're below trees or under trees, the debris on the ground can be a little bit more loose. It's not as solid as it would be out on the fairway in the rough. Any slight miscalculation with an iron can cause you to keep hit the ball fat and stay in the trees. With a hybrid, I'm gonna go for the line just underneath the trees there. Again, I'm gonna grip down on the club. I'm gonna have a swing that's relatively short because I've got enough power in this club. And the last little note is just keep the shaft slightly further forward so that the ball's not gonna pop up in the air, it's gonna stay nice and low. Like a long put almost, like a long chip, but using your hybrid. And that way the ball pops back into the fairway because that rough, that lie under the tree just isn't pleasant. Whenever you can have a slightly bigger bottom of a golf club, the club's not going to dig in, it's going to help you. Again, hybrids used to be called rescue clubs and remember that because they can rescue you out of many different tricky situations. So as you can see, I found an awful lie in the fairway. I found a divot. And this again is where a hybrid can really come into its own with its flat bottom and the fact that actually you could probably muscle it out of that divot. It really is a useful club to hit out such a nasty lie. Hopefully you don't catch too many of these nasty lies. The issue with hitting an, an iron from this shot, the club could get snagged up. It's hard to determine exactly where you want to make contact with the ball. But with a hybrid, again with its flat bottom and the loft that you've got on the club, I can hit down a little bit more on this. I can take even more of a divot and trust that I've got enough power to be able to muscle it down the fairway still. As I sell to the golf ball, I'm probably just gonna slightly hover it. So I don't wanna get the club too dug in behind it. And what my ambition is here is to hit down and take a little bit more of a divot than what is already there. That way the ball came out like a rocket. I've make, made more of a divot, but the club has kind of got its way through it. The bottom of the club helped in that situation. So if you get in a horrible situation on a fairway, an old divot or just a nasty lie, a hybrid is great for getting out of those tricky situations. A time when some players might neglect using a hybrid is in a fairway bunker. A shot like this where there's not much lip to get over, I'm trying to progress it down this hole here. It's not always necessary to use loads of loft. A hybrid's great for it. It's got a big flat bottom, the center of gravity's nice and low, 
And when you catch them well, they can come out and give you a huge advantage because you're backing playing much further down the line. Obviously the lip's gonna have an influence if the lip gets too tall, yeah, use a bit more loft. But this is a great example of being able to catch it nice and clean. Tips on when hitting out of a fairway bunker, certainly with a hybrid, is you don't particularly need to get low. You don't need to shuffle your feet and you can stay almost perched on top of the sand. And it doesn't matter if you take a little bit of sand with the contact, the hybrid will help not get the club digging in too much. Let's give this a go. Oh, that is perfect. Miles down there again, give me a chance of progressing through the hole. The bottom of the golf club can help you in the sand. It's so important. Don't just go instantly for a sand wedge or a lob wedge. If you can get down there a bit further with the hybrid, it can massively help. So this wouldn't be a top five ways to use a hybrid if I didn't touch on a juicy rough lie. This is where a long iron really struggles because the grass kind of gets wrapped around the neck, the face gets shut down, you end up hitting it lower lofted and more towards the left. The hybrid's great from here because the bottom of the golf club, the profile of the club helps you. The center of gravity is lower, so it kind of pops the ball up in the air. You've got to commit to the shot. And I would say, hold on to the grip a little bit tighter. That avoids the club twisting even more. Commit to it, hold on that little bit tighter. And with a horrible, wet, juicy lie like this, you should still be able to hit it out there further down the hole. And that is a much better result than I would have got from a long iron. Hybrids are perfect in that situation. So as you can see, there's five different ways you can use your hybrid out on the golf course. Be creative. A club isn't just one dimensional. And certainly a hybrid, you can play it so many different ways. My personal favorite in those five is that little one out the divot. It is perfect for a shot like that. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And hopefully that's five ways you can use your hybrid to lower your score. We'll see you next time.